Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Outside the men's toilets, it's not exactly a fantastic place to be, is it? I'm just trying to find a nice, quiet place to sit and have a chit chat. <sighs> this looks like a good one. How is everybody? Hey, Ali. Ali, can you let me know if I am definitely in the Mind, Body and Soul Academy? That would be fantastic. So I just thought I would jump on and... Hmm, quiet mode turned on. How do you take off quiet mode? What's quiet mode? Swipe left. <laughs> I'm just at the airport and I am waiting for my plane and I just had something I really wanted to share and it's been coming up for me a lot lately um, and I've just I've just got myself um, a business mentor and I've never had a business mentor before I've only ever had a mindset coach um, and he said something that was really pivotal to me and I'm actually finding that 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 business and mindset is is very very similar they've got very very similar goals they've got very very similar structure to um to yourself really to your growth to when you're doing your mind body and soul work it's it, the work on you is is the same as the work you do with your business and it was just really pivotal what he, he said to me and um and he said so yep you can have desire you can have you can have dreams you can have goal you can have visions you can have anything you want to have in life but you're not going to get driven unless you connect to one thing and he said what's that and i couldn't think of it you know i was like well desire you know um, visions or if, everything basically i just said before and then he said, well, what, okay, so I'll put this a different way. And I'd like you to have a think about this as I'm saying it. And I'm going to have a bit of a pause in between so you can have a real think about it. Or pause it if you're watching the replay. And, and really have a think about what you think this is. So he said to me, what motivates you? and I said all the fluffy things and I'm you know, have a think about it what motivates you what really motivates you what should what gets you up in the morning what gets you so fired up you know what gets you what drives you what makes you so you don't sleep at night what 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 what's it all about for you you know what's that one factor that really makes you not rest on your laurels it really makes you get up and just go and yeah we've got i said family i said friends i said my business i said all that stuff all that stuff all that big juice stuff you know whatever sets my soul on fire my sole purpose the clients i help i hope you guys can hear me because it's really loud in the airport you know i said all that stuff all those juicy things and it was something that when I started in network marketing, somebody said to me about, and I, I just really forgotten about it. And I think I got complacent and I think I just got to a stage that we do in our life that we don't reset ourselves and we don't really connect. And also this one thing changes. Can you, Ellie, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you got any any idea? And if you're coming on and watching the replay, type in what you think it might be. It's just something so pivotal. It's something that is just going to make you jump out of bed in the morning. It's going to, and it's got to be. No, it's not money. It's not money. Have another guess. It's some the... no. <laughs> it's 
something there motivates you, it drives you, it connects you to your passion, it connects you to your purpose, I hope you can hear me, um, it connects you to everything, absolutely everything. Okay, I'm going to tell you because we're going to board soon, it's your why, what is your why? Your why is what will drive you, your why is what will keep you up at night. And I'm not talking about a small why, I'm talking down, oh good, <laughs> I'm talking down, I'm talking about writing out 50 whys, 50 whys. That's your homework for this week, write out 50 whys, what, and get really, really clear on them, like super crystal clear on what your why is. Why? What's going to make you, yeah, Ellie, I've, I've done this before, I've, but I haven't done it probably in at least three, three years, three years, and my your why changes, like my why used to be, um, and you know what, your why can't be about, your big why can't be about helping anyone because that's not going to drive you. It's about what is really in here. Your burning, burning desire. Your why you do something. Your why that you want to get the money, the freedom, the success. Why you want to help people in your business. Why. Get crystal clear. And, it, and saying, um, um, because I want a new house. No. Where do you want that house? Go out and go through some beautiful houses. See the house you want. Go and visit it. See the car you want. Go and sit in it. Feel it. Smell it. Drive it. Really visualize exactly what you're going to look like behind that wheel. What you're going to be like when you're in the house. What, what, what you're going to be like when you're surrounded by the people who you want to attract. What your clients are going to look like if you want to do some sort of coaching or, or you know, whatever you want to do. What your life is going to look like at the other side. And write it down. Get really specific because it is something that it connects all the dots to why you're going to do what you're going to do. Why are you going to do what you're going to do? And it's really, 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 really important because that's what's going to motivate you to get out of bed in the morning. Why do I keep doing live streams when I'm at the airport? Because I'm a global nomad. I live location free. <laughs> that's one of my, was one of my whys. My why was traveling the world when I wanted to, doing what I wanted to. My why used to be going to an exotic location and living there for a few years. Hello, what did I just do? Connect to your why. Sit in a, in a place and get a pen and paper and write out all the reasons that you want to do what you're doing. Yeah, then, you know what? This is really, listen to this because this is so fucking important. Your why needs to be bigger than your why not. I'm going to say that again. Your why needs to be bigger than your why not. Think about that. I've got people coming all around me now. We're boarding in about 10 minutes. I just wanted to get that out and I want you to really think about that. And I'd love to see some of your whys. I'd love to see you you're posting um, what came up for you during this, this quick live stream. And it's, it's something that helps your mind connect to your body and your soul. It all flows, but it's what's going to motivate you to be that person that you want to be. It's going to motivate you to do the mindset work around who you want to be. It's going to motivate you for the money. It's going to motivate you for the for your relationship. It's going to motivate you in so many parts of your life. It's going to drive you. It's going to be your desire. It's going to get you out of bed in the morning. Connect to it. Connect to it. And it's not just a matter of it's your kids. It's got to be more. It's got to be deeper. It's got to be about you make it about you make your why about your family too but make it about you because when you're that better person when you're the person that you see in that reflection that you just absolutely love and that get, just gets you so fucking excited about the person you want to become <laughs> exactly right exactly Ellie it does it needs to be so much bigger because you can have dreams and you can have desires. And this is really, this is, I mean, this is the task he's just given me. And this guy is next level. He's, and he's, 
a multi, 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 multi millionaire. I would say he's probably a borderline billionaire. And he's a very, very close friend and he has just become my business mentor. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Um, And it's so connected to everything that I do within my mind, body, and soul. It's just so, so connected. It's just phenomenal. One part of your life, that will, this, your why will connect you to absolutely everything that you do feel. It'll make you, I mean, you look at the people that are the one percenters. Why are they the one percenters? What makes, like last night I watched some videos, some motivational videos, as you do on a Saturday night, and I watched some CrossFit athletes, and it was really important seeing these people that were the number one, that one of them was number one for I think it was four years in a row, he was amazing, and then there was a lady, and then there was other people that were, that were, um, were the fittest woman and man in the world, but they only did it for a year, well not only, I mean it's a freaking huge feat, or two years, and it really showed you the difference between People that went and competed and didn't make it to the games, the ones that won and, became, and were the fittest, and the ones that just dwindled away, just dwindled away. The one percenters have that burning, burning desire, and they have a why so big, so much bigger than their why not. They will get up and they will work out in the morning when nobody else does. They will there late night at the track doing things that nobody else will. They will just they won't succumb to, to being, and it's not mediocre, they, they won't succumb to being anything but the best, because they are so driven, they are the 1% of the 1%, and that can be as simple as doing your mindset work every day, it can be as simple as going into the membership site and committing, committing to one video a week. One video. I mean, some of those videos, they're only 10, 15 minutes, but it's not just watching the video, it's doing the fucking work. It's doing the work. You are here in this academy for a reason. Why are you here? Why, 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 why? Connect to your why. Make yourself the better person that you want to be. Think about why you came in here in the first place. Why are you here? Ding, 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 ding. All right, my lovelies, I just wanted to touch base with you as well because it's going to... I'll just wait a minute. That's me, Brisbane first. On my way to Auckland. Anyway, I'm just going to carry on, hopefully you can hear me. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to, um, let me know what you thought about that. Let me know what you thought about it. And let me know how deep your why is. And go somewhere, pen and paper, and go 50. Go 50 whys. And keep going and keep going and go. If you can go to 70, even better. If you can go to 100, even freaking better. Keep pushing yourself. Keep pushing yourself to come up with your whys. And then I'll report back on what to do next. Um, so I just wanted to touch base because I'm going on a plane now and basically I don't get to my end destination until 8.30 tomorrow. So it's going to be big. Um, I've got about a few hours transit in Brisbane and about five hours transit in, or four, four hours transit in Auckland. So I'll be coming on checking things, but I can imagine I'm going to be a little bit tired. <laughs> so I wanted to touch base with you now and tell you all that I think you're amazing. Um, I'd love to hear how you're going with the book. I'm about to do about four hours of reading a little sucker. It's just, it's great. Honestly, it's all about fears, guys. It's, it's fears versus creativity. And it's everything we're doing, we're just connecting. We're connecting all the dots. Yeah, lots of love, Ellie. Thanks for joining me, honey bunny. And if you're watching the replay, um, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what your why is. And if you have to let me know now, I want you to do the work behind it. Unless you've already done the work, and well, if you've already done the hundred whys, I'll be friggin' really impressed. Um, all right, time for me to board my little plane. Love you all lots. Um, let me know how you're going. Oh, and we've got a live, I've got a live, we've, we've got a live stream coming up at um, the end of the week. 
um, which is on, what's it on this week? I think it's on Fair of Success. Fair of Success, that's a huge one. Fair of Success, which is really big. Fair of success. And I think the one after that I'm going to do is going to be all around fair of money, which is just going to be epic. All right, Gums, love and light. Um, I hope everybody's traveling well, and I look forward to when I land in Brisbane seeing what you guys have thought of the Livey. Love ya. See ya.